Hey, Brian here from RVWithTito.com. And if you've decided to add solar to your RV or van, uh, one thing that uh, is quite common is that you'll start small, maybe adding a panel or two panels, and uh, down the road, you're most likely going to expand that or make some changes over time. What I found is that, uh, you know, as I've done this, I've ended up with just a lot of extra cabling and uh, more Y connectors. And in my case, I have you know, different generations of panels. So, you know, I've got MC3 and MC4 connectors and uh, converters and all this stuff. And this just creates this jumbled mess of cables that becomes hard to manage. So one thing that I've done recently is to take all of those connections and consolidate them into one place. And I've uh, created this uh, junction box to do that. It's more like a patch panel uh, that would allow me to uh, to bring everything into one place and uh, make the connections that I need to make. And it's really worked out well for me because uh, not only can I just make all those connections in one place, I can change things down the road if I need to. All the panels are wired directly into this box. And uh, I can even uh, easily uh, test the voltage and everything inside this box without having to uh, uh, remove anything or disconnect anything. I want to walk you through what I did and maybe it'll give you an idea for your own project and uh, hopefully eliminate a lot of this uh, just cable spaghetti <laughs> that we end up with. Now once I uh, figured out what it is I wanted to do, I went on Amazon and I found uh, these terminal blocks that would work and uh, these are a little bit larger than some of the other ones. They can take up to a 6 gauge cable and uh, total can handle up to uh, I think 60 amps. So that was going to work out good for me. And um, they, uh, they are designed to sit on this DIN rail. So they're mounted on a DIN rail and I think it comes with a little 6 inch section of these. And there's 10 blocks so I can have 10 different connections. And um, I also picked up some solar cable and some uh, cable glands for uh, sealing up those cable inputs to the box. Now once I figured out where inside the box I wanted to put these uh, terminal blocks, I mounted the DIN rail that was going to hold everything in place uh, just with some hot glue on the bottom of the box. And uh, you know I've done this before and it uh, holds it really well. And then I put the uh, blocks on top of the DIN rail and configured it the way that I uh, needed to to create these different uh, connections. Now to create parallel connections to be able to combine uh, some of these blocks together, it comes with these red jumpers that you can use and uh, I simply trim those down to uh, to span you know two to four uh, blocks for my positive and my negative outputs for each of my solar arrays. Now after uh, drilling a few holes and installing all of the cable glands in the box uh, to accept all the inputs uh, from the solar panels and the outputs to the charge controller, uh, I went ahead and uh, chose a location here up on the roof that's uh, nice, uh, nice and centrally located so I could easily run all of the cables uh, to all the different solar panels uh, back into this, uh, into this box at this location. Now I went ahead and uh, attached it to the roof without screws like I've done uh, for a lot of the other things that I've mounted here on the roof. And I, I mounted some, uh, some double-sided uh, Eternabond tape to the bottom of the box and then uh, just kind of eyeballed it, you know, where I wanted to place it and uh, pressed it down. And I later went back and uh, filled in around the edges uh, with a bead of, uh, of Dicor. And with the box in place, I went ahead and got rid of all those extra connectors and adapters and extra cable uh, connections and uh, went ahead and just ran some new cable uh, where needed uh, from the uh, from, from individual uh, solar panels back to the box and ran them into the appropriate spot uh, through the cable gland into the box and then trim them off. And then from there I was able to make all of my, uh, all of my connections uh, for my two solar arrays and wire up everything, whether in series or parallel, uh, directly uh, inside the box now and, uh, and get those all wired up uh, to the correct outputs.
You know, I'll drop a link in the description and also put a little uh, pop up here uh, if you guys want to learn more about uh, how I have my whole system set up, including wiring diagrams for all of my uh, solar panels. So you can see how I have everything hooked up inside this box to achieve uh, that outcome. And uh, I'll also uh, put a reference here and a link to the previous video that I posted that kind of shows how I, uh, I set up my charge controllers to uh, support these two separate uh, solar arrays. Now before buttoning everything up, I wanted to uh, do some labeling on the cables just so I knew which ones were the positives and which ones were the negatives. And I also uh, put red electrical tape on the uh, terminal block to, uh, to show which ones were the main outputs and uh, you know the positive and the negative uh, for each solar array. Uh, and I also uh, went ahead and put together a little cheat sheet on the inside of the lid of the box so that I could open it up and I can easily tell which uh, inputs are coming from which solar panels. So, you know, <laughs> if it, uh, a little bit of time passes, I'm going to open it up and, and I'm not going to remember how it's set up. So this can be really helpful. Now finally I went ahead and uh, put some flex tubing around all of the uh, cabling on the roof here just to kind of keep it protected from the elements. And uh, I also painted everything white just so that it uh, blends in with everything else on the roof and it just kind of gives it a nice finished look. Well, I hope you're able to get something useful out of this video and maybe it'll give you an idea for something uh, you can apply to your own project. But as always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below and we'll get them answered for you. And I'll also go ahead and uh, put another uh, link or two in the description of the video for a parts list and detailed wiring diagrams of my entire setup if you guys are interested in that as well. And I'll also uh, go ahead and link to some other videos on the channel. Be sure to check those out if you want to learn more about some of the other things uh, related to this uh, that I've done related to the solar stuff. But uh, take care guys and I will see you in the next one.